Hello, nerds. I'm the worm that walks. Welcome to a new and exciting venture of animations called Spell Scraps. It's a show where the crew from Homebrew Detritus gets animated and they play, um, uh, they play cartoons, they play as cartoons through a, at the game. I'm biding time because I can't say the murk, murk, borg, eh, murk, borg, murk, borg. Ah, whatever. I'm eternal and I'll never figure this shit out. Anywho, if, uh, you want to see more terrible animations like the one you're about to go through, then don't forget to like and subscribe and all that other YouTube bullshit. Or you could feed the Patreon gods some money for us to do this more often. And get yourself some fucking stickers. <laughs> Anywho, enjoy spell scraps. Welcome to the world of Merk Bory. Mm -mm. Hmm? Merk Burger. <laughs> I'll say it how I like to say it. <laughs> by, the, by the game company, Free Alligan. Hmm. Here I always read it phonetically. Mork Borg. Mork but that's Borg. not right. Merk Burger. We really should do this by the book. Make Mary. Where are you getting that E sound of the <laughs> that in Swedish the G ends at the G. It's a G. Uh -oh. It's not a G, it's a G. No, I'm talking about Toker not making any kind of G. Oh, it's vice <laughs> snake. That's German. Burka burka. <laughs> That's definitely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, Swedish this... chef over here. <laughs> His words spill out of his mouth like uncooked pierogies. Mm. You know, a, a nice raw pierogi. I could go for that. I don't know what a pierogi is. Oh, you're missing out. <laughs> is that the potato noodle? You really don't know what a pierogi is? I do not. Potato dumpling. So somebody's about to get Eastern European on us. It's, it is a potato noodle, right? I think not, sir. It's it's a pasta with basically, and then filled with whatever <laughs> wonderful toppings you want to put in it. It's a potato-filled dumpling. Let's move along. What's <laughs> that potato dumpling? This is very potato riveting. dumpling. Potato dumpling. Bro. All right, all right. <clears throat> do your do your intro. Yeah, please. Oh, okay, I'll do it. Uh, <clears throat> no, no, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> Six adventurers gather in a dark dungeon to play a game of Morkborg, Mirkbori, Morkbori. However you say it, doesn't matter. It's a doom metal RPG fantasy game. And they gather for a one-shot, setting the scene for them. The boat is dark and filthy, covered in sails, filled with bodies, some alive, some dead. You hear the jingle, jangle of keys, and a wet slap, and then a dry thud, and you hear it repeatedly over the rantings of a mad gibbering about death. Destruction and feeding the oceans. When you finally see this man, his back is hunched so far over from the weight of all the keys. 
These must be keys to the thousands of cells you see littered in the below decks. He goes to the first door and opens it. Matt, what character exits the cell? Well, um, <clears throat> the, um, very ragged looking sort. Um, doesn't look like he's slept in a bed for quite a while, and this cell was probably an improvement. Uh, an ear star shined on his birth. Poverty, crime, and bad parenting didn't help either. And, uh, in my community, an honest day's work was never an option. Not that you didn't ever try. Uh, you're some kind of, uh, of a razor and a moonless night are worth a week of chump work. So, not a day's work that I did that it wasn't cutthroat. Vulgar and lazy, hands caked with sores, and I cannot tolerate the criticism of any kind. Results, uh, in rage and weeping. This is a very strange game. But I'm, uh, gutter-born scum and, uh, quite stealthy. Got a knack for a coward's jab in the dark. Let me go through like the strengths and abilities and all that stuff too. I don't think we need all of your stats, but any prominent gear. How about a name? <laughs> I have a small, but uh, a very vicious uh, dog that seems to have tagged along with me on this boat ride. The dog is dead. <sighs> Damn, bruh. First murder of the night. The dog is dead. Well, quite right. Okay. So that's about it. Other than that, uh, I have plus one to my uh, strength ability, it seems, and zeros for everything else. And your name? Igorn. Igorn. Igorun. You just make it up. We can't see what you're reading. Igorn. Igorn is this. You come out of the cell, and all you can see of the creature hunched with keys is that one foot is bone, and one foot is a bloody mess. He pats you on the shoulder, and the smell of excrement fills your nostrils. And he goes to the front with you as he slithers on to open up another cell. Frakes. Describe your character. Um, <clears throat> my name is Bellum. I am also gutterborn scum. I escaped from the Tvlandian orphanage, which was quite the feat, considering how I am quite fat. I am suspicious, ruthless. I'm always hungry and I'm always drooling. I tend to giggle insanely at the worst possible moments here. Yeah, yeah. I don't giggle well. But I'm I'm uh, I'm kinda stealthy myself. I uh, tend to slip around when people don't see me. And I have an astounding, almost preternatural ability to hide in muck, detritus, and filth. When hidden, it's a lot harder to see me. People don't notice me very well. Uh, what I carry is uh, water skin and four days worth of food. And if you, any of you fucks touch my food, I will club you with my club. I have a medicine chest with four uses. I will also club you if you touch my medicine. I have caltrips and 22 silver. I've counted all of it. No. That's pretty much me. Much Which like is... Matt's character, your club is dead. <laughs> I don't oh, I don't have my club. Got it. Is it just limp? It just hangs like a <laughs> like a snake. It's like a sock filled with, with soft apples. Uh, <laughs> floppy club, that's the worst. <laughs> Minus one damage. They make a pill for I got that. something for that, yeah. <laughs> Oh, Flaccid Club. That's what they call me on the streets. Flaccid Club. Mr. Limpy. The hunch creature tells you the same as the last and moves on to another cell, another countless cell, in the bowels of this immense sized ship. Noob, describe your character. 
Hey, how you doing? My name's Hatchet. Oh, that was Jed Eccleshake. I'm sorry. Fuck. Hey, how you doing? My name is Hatchet. <laughs> I like Jeb Eccleshake. You should roll with it. All right, cool. You carry around the aura of unnatural charm everywhere you go, capable of unsettling foes and common friends. Always the bringer of unwelcome sounds. Your voice is a bar. Wait, your vocal? What the fuck is this saying? Your Attention vocation viewers, has a noob cannot read, and I've given him a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> your vocation as a bard left you destitute and disreputable until the rueful day of when being an imperious character made you the deal of a lifetime. Your soul may be screaming, but your throat sings sweetly, and you purse ever sweeter. A small price to pay. I have an inferiority complex, problems with authority, lost three toes, limps, laughs hysterically at your own jokes, which you then explain in detail. Oh boy. Uh, I have an loot that's in the shape of an axe and does D8 damage. Uh, I have fur armor, a bear trap, and a shield, and 99 silver. You are also pleased to discover one of your toes is no longer missing. Four fucking toes. It was in your pocket. <laughs> well, I could have kept it. You were, I uh, eat the toe. You, I was about to say, you got to eat that? I eat the toe. Another pat mm. on your shoulder, and the creature with keys slithers off again. I'll go, and I'm damn ready. He opens a fourth door. You do go. Maho, describe your character. I am called Cetrin. I am a heretical priest from some temple in the Valley of the Unfortunate Dead. I am hunted by two-headed basilisks of the one true faith and my former friends because I deserted the military after witnessing a massacre. Some say there's a bounty on my head, so if you see me, no, you didn't. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, if you'll notice by looking at me, I'm completely and utterly hairless. And I'm a pretty good singer. Check it out. Do, 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 do. Isn't that the most beautiful song you ever heard? It is! Indeed. <laughs> In my sack, I have a, I have got some, some chalk, about four sticks. I got a sickle. I've got some splint ar- armor. I've got some life elixir, but it's mine. Can't have it. It's mine. And yeah. And I like to read from the blasphemous Necrable Bible. Shit happens when I read from that Bible. Better not. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Just kind of depends on whether things are even or odd. So what's the what's the Bible that you got? The blasphemous necrable Bible. So intensely blasphemous when the priests themselves can only peru- the the priests themselves can only peruse it once per day. When read, roll a die. Each res- even result. Blech. Even result, for the rest of the day, PCs heal D4 HP after just five minutes of rest. Odd result, the priest is plagued by demonic hallucinations. The DM may invent D3 things that only the priest can see and describe them to the player as if true. This effect ends with sunrise. That's nifty. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Sounds pretty good. Stay away from my sack. The creature pats you on the shoulder and slithers on to the next. Terrence, your cell unlocks to reveal. Ah, finally, I'm free. I am playing Bolbeck. He comes from the Gallenbeck near the cathedral, the two-headed basilisk. He has a very similar backstory to the previous character. Also, he is endlessly aggravated and tormenting. A forked tongue, a sign, terrified of being alone. That's me. Well, I also carry the uh, <coughs> blasphemous Necrobell Bible. <coughs> anyway, equipment. I have water skins, bow, leather armor, a sack, some poison, shield, and a, a, a not, not a bad amount of silver, 154. Anyway, 
That is who I am playing. I'm also a heretical priest. Stop trying to be like me. Hey, I, I rolled this up first. <laughs> I'd like the two priests to roll a d20. It's a 14. 14. Seven. 14. You can choose whether or not you keep your book. I keep my book. Terrence, roll a new character. <laughs> uh, one. Roll a d10. Sure is a lot of dice rolling already. Seven. In place of your book, you have a scroll. Ooh. I'll take it. Metzel Hall, blind your eye. A creature becomes invisible for D6 rounds or until it is damaged, attacking, or defending with DR6. Right. So that's Can I a, ask a question? That's a scroll you have now. Okay. Yes? What are omens? Mm, that's a good question. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a good question. How many omens do you have? Two. Same. Omens can be used to deal maximum damage with a single attack or re-roll a die of your choice. That's right. Lower uh, damage uh, taken by D6, negated critical success or failure, and finally can lower a test DC by four points. And you have two. Oh, I have sorry. one. I have to roll a D2, I guess, to figure out if I have any more. Does it say roll again? I feel like that's what this auto generator is doing. You have, to rest, you have to rest six hours to get those omens back. You rest six hours and roll a D2 and you have that many omens for the day. So it's like, uh, uh, it's like Benny's. Yeah. Okay. So, I think the heretical priest just gotcha. might get more is what it is. Yeah, like I feel like you get a different die, but I feel like it rolled for you. And it's auto generated. It rolled for you, or the class that you picked gave you a bonus one. I can't remember. Some of the classes might give you another omen at character creation. I'm not sure. You have to spend an omen to cast a spell? No. Because if you don't cast the spell, bad things can happen. If you fumble on a spell, really bad things happen. Okay, so the creature slithers to the last cage. Kevin, describe your character. Well, I'm playing Chatna, the occult headmaster. Raised in a calm, isolate, uh, a calm isolation in the Sarkash Dark. Uh, born of mushrooms, raised in the glade, watched by the eye of the moon in the silver black pool. Nihilistic and lazy, nails cracked and black, maybe about to drop off. Do not tolerate criticism of any kind, results in rage and weeping. I've got a portable laboratory that lets me, I have to make potion or decoctions every day. And uh, I've got a water skin, a war hammer, a sack, a blanket, a heavy chain, and a lot of silver. You are the last to be released as the creature slithers off into the darkness. You all can't help but think maybe you've seen people released on and off, on and off, on and off. And how long have you been captive here? You're not sure, but you know the door beckons. Who opens the door? <laughs> I'll open the door. Let him open the door. Sucker. As you open the door, darkness fades over all of you. When your eyes clear, you're in a long hall. There's a large 
table in front of you, surrounded by chairs and filled with dead bodies. Most of the bodies' heads were face first in whatever gruel they were last eating. At the end of the long hall is a hearth, cool, but still the aroma of smoke permeates the air. Two staircases uh, ascend either side of the fireplace to a massive door above it. There are two other smaller, less noticeable doors to the left and to the right. What do you do? Is there still food on the table? There is indeed still food on the table. I will grab a corpse's face out of a bowl and start eating. Oops. Uh, that seems like a bad idea. I'm ravenous. I'm always ravenous. I'm wasting away in my giant fat fray. You all see your hefty friend run to a table and remove a corpse's face from a bowl of gruel and begin eating. <laughs> that giggle is the last words he'll ever speak as his character promptly dies. <laughs> <laughs> no roll, no roll or nothing. No. <laughs> Sing a song about his death. This guy <laughs> died. What a dumbass! <laughs> I hand you a bowl and tell you maybe you could carry a tune in this. Get it? Because you can't fucking sing. <laughs> 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 Mork, Merk, Borg, Merk, Borg, Mork, Borg, ah, whatever. I'm eternal and I'll never figure this shit out. Thank you.